What's up guys? It's John Muscarello from Side Hustle Experiment here. Welcome to the channel. If you're new here, if you're a subscriber, thanks for coming back. To, on today's video, I, before we get into that, I am a six-figure Amazon seller and I also sell on eBay. And today I'm going to give you a tour of my warehouse. I got this in February. Everyone keeps asking me to do one. I uh, it's, it's a little messy right now, but it's kind of empty. So I figured it'd be a good time to do it. So let's get into it. I might chop up the video a little bit. The GoPro tends to not do well with longer videos. So I kind of break it up into parts. So here's kind of the outside of it. Right there is the office. And then it's five bays. So it's one, two, three, four, five. That other side does not belong to me. Um, but yeah, that's kind of the outside. Then I have, there's stuff for propane tank. Then there's a dumpster over there. So let's go inside. All right, so this is kind of it. There's upstairs over there. There's an office there. There's a bathroom over there. This is where, I'll just give you a tour before I kind of talk about it. All right, so it's about 3,400 square feet. Like I said before, I got this in about February. This was an amazing space. Out of all the ones I looked at, it was the perfect size. It's really hard to find a size like this, so I'm super grateful for that. Um, so kinda, I'll kinda walk you through how it would go. So pretty much this door is where most deliveries come in. I will take the forklift that's over there We'll unload it. All of the Gaylords of Books. Um, usually, this table is usually not here. We'll go in this corner back here. So you can see there's two here that were dropped off yesterday um, that we have to process. So basically, they'll all stack up here, over here. This corner over here is kind of used as a buyback area. Um, Someone came today and bought all the duds. They bought DVDs, CDs. So usually all the CDs are piled on here. Um, and there's a Gaylord like that for DVDs. Uh, you'll see like the Ziff palette buyback is over here. So I kind of keep this corner for buyback just so it's out of the way. Um, if we're really, uh, you know, need space, I utilize the racks for like sell back your book and stuff. You need kind of smaller pallets for that. So basically, then we come over here. Let me get this out of the way. So this is basically the area where we process books. We have Gaylords over here. Usually we don't have that many, uh, but we've been doing some like special sorting for people. Um, this is the dumper table. So basically, all the books are dumped on that. This right over here, uh, actually I should turn this off, is a tilter. So basically you'd put a pallet of books right on this. And then once the pallet's on there, it would lift it up like that. You can see it's like lifting up. Looks like that, and then all the books would fall on the table, like that. Put that down later. So then all the books, let's pretend these fell out of the Gaylords, are right here. This is a scanner that we use to process the books. There's a computer here, and we run software and tells us which of the bins to put them in. Um, so we basically have like a dud bin, sell back your book, Ziff, uh, there's a kid chapter book bin because someone buys those. And then there's a history bin over there because someone buys history books. And then back here is where we put stuff aside for eBay. Um, so anything that we put in these black buckets, we kind of want to look up. This is another bin. These are kind of for set books for us. Um, so we'll collect like Nancy Drew, um, Harry Potter, stuff like that. And then this little basket over here 
is usually along that wall and that's for all the media dvds and cds and we'll process those last so i'm going to stop the video here and then show you the next part so this area over here is basically where we'd put books that are good for amazon fba um, the books that we're sending merch fulfilled will usually go on one of these carts and I'll show you where that will go. But basically, yeah, all the books go here. Then we box them up and usually put them on a pallet, kind of like that, for the lister and we'll load it in their car when they come. This area over here, um, we used to list here, but then we kind of stopped. This is more of a eBay lookup station. So we'll be looking up stuff on eBay that we get. Um, in the bins over here it really prevents us from taking it upstairs um then over here is kind of like you'll see the ebay kind of processing center bigger sets are like put on these tables for lookup um all the duds of books go here so basically after we're done we have the books in over there then they're wheeled right over here and then when the person comes to pick them up it's just easy to like take them right out there um, back to this table this is basically the ebay table so this we use to take pictures of single books this is for books as well just an easy like little setup um, these tables we built my dad built them or helped me build them um, well he basically built them i just helped um, under there, there's usually uh, like packing materials, boxes. So what will happen is we'll take pictures over here. Once the item is pictured, we'll put it on a cart and then eventually we'll box it up. And then it's brought upstairs, um, which I will show you. That's where pretty much all the stuff is kept. So let's take a trip upstairs. All right, so we're heading up the stairs. That's my dog's Frisbee. So you could see like kind of a view from up here what it kind of looks like. So over here, this is kind of like a merch of a filled cart. So basically it has poly mailers or bubble mailers, poly mailers. We use that to fulfill orders. This cart right here is used to grab merch fulfilled orders all the merch fulfilled inventory is kept on these shelves as you can see we're starting to like really sell a bunch which is awesome so these shelves were all here when i got here um, and they've been a huge saver especially with the restock limits to do a merch fulfilled business then over here are all book sets that will lot up or sell on ebay just really depends on what they are like for instance we keep like harry potters once we get seven of them we'll box them up or wrap them up some to amazon and the shelves just kind of go on over here is where we keep ebay books that are like valuable these are more like first editions pretty much single books um and over here is everything that we have for ebay that's really sets um they're just all boxed up, ready to go. Each one has like a label on it, so it's easy to find. And then over here is kind of like a little overfill. These are kind of like boxes we get from Amazon. More, they're usually bigger ones uh, for book sets. This is a new addition up here. This is kind of gonna be for uh, like packing material and stuff like that. And then this is a listing station for Merch Fulfilled and um ebay so basically we do all the shipping up here and all the listing so basically we have like a scanner here computer extra monitor the dymo the rollo a printer um so yeah a lot of what's what we use uh we use this cart over here so all the books like i said before basically there would be a cart down there that we wheeled over from the table over there with all the good stuff for Merch Fulfilled. We carry it up, put it on this table right here. It'd already be like conditioned and graded. And then as they get scanned in over there, they're placed on this cart right here. 
and then we'd wheel the cart and kind of like drop them off wherever they need to go and that is kind of the upstairs and the tour i actually i'm gonna show you my office as well i don't even really know if it's messy or not but while we're doing this why not and then this is the office I'll turn the light on yeah so this is kind of my desk i'm usually outside using the other two computers so i don't really use it that much this is just some extra some water some extra storage space filing cabinet fridge kind of coffee area table um you know a little bookcase uh, but yeah that's kind of the tour guys um thanks for coming along uh let me know what you think in the comments about the warehouse you have one what do you think do you think i should set it up differently i'd love to hear what you have to say i'll see you guys in the next video